Here we want to express these Riemann sums as uh, definite integrals. So for part a we have the limit as delta x goes to zero of the sum from k equals one to n of x k star squared plus one all delta x, all times delta x on the interval three to five. Well these actually aren't as bad as they look. You simply bring up the definition for the definite integral. Well notice that the limit in the definition of an integral is exactly the same as the limit in our example in part a here, um, except for one thing that the, the function in the, in the limit definition is actually replaced with an, a function here. So what that tells us is that this expression right here, x squared plus one, is our function, f of x. Okay, so when we go into integral land, all of this this delta x goes to zero sum business becomes the integral sign, which is actually a stretched out s, by the way, for sum. Our limits of integration are here from three to five. And then we put in our function, so we have x squared plus one, and then the delta x becomes dx. Right? All this always becomes dx. And as simple as that, we now have our definite integral set up. Same thing with part b. We have the limit as delta x goes to zero of the sum from k equals one to n. Now we have xk star times the radical of one plus xk star cubed. Now it's on the interval two, three. Okay, so same idea. We change the sum into a stretched out s, which is our integral sign, from two to three. And then we have xk star, which becomes x. So that gives us x rad one plus x cubed and then all of that is dx instead of delta x. And now we have expressed it as a definite integral. So these exercises look complicated, but they're actually really not so bad.